Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 24th and 25th questions from CBSE Class 10 Examination 2022-23, Section B, where each question is of two marks. Now, the 24th question is from the Real Numbers chapter. Find the greatest number which divides 85 and 72, leaving remainders 1 and 2, respectively. So, the first thing we need to understand here is, should we find the HCF or LCM of the given two numbers? Now, I have made a complete video where I have explained whether to use LCM or HCF for the given questions in this video. So, you can just click on the link and have a look at it. Now, coming back to this, here it's given that we have to find the greatest number which divides, which means we have to find the HCF of the given numbers. And the second piece of data given over here is, when we divide these two numbers from the HCF, the remainders we get is 1 and 2. So, to find the HCF, let us first subtract the remainders from the given numbers. For 85, we have been given the remainder as 1. So, we are going to subtract this remainder from the given number. So, we are going to have here 85 minus 1 as 84. So, this is our first number to be considered. Now, for the number 72, we have the remainder as 2. So, following the similar steps, we are going to get 72 minus 2 is equal to 70. Now, the next step is to find out the HCF of 84 and 70. So, I am going to do it independently. So, let me write here. So, in the prime factorization of 84, we have to use only prime numbers to divide 84 and 70. So, let us start with the smallest prime number which is 2. So, 2, 42 times gives us 84. Now, 42 can be divided by 7 and 7 is a prime number. So, 7, 6 times is 42 and 6 gets divided by 2 again. So, 2, 3 times is 6 and 3, 1 times is 3. So, remember our all factors should be just prime numbers. Similarly, we are going to divide 70. So, again let us take it as 7. So, 7, 10 times is 70. Next, 10 goes in the table of 5 and 5 is also a prime number. So, we are going to write 5, 2 times is 10 and then 2, 1 times is 2. So, we have got our factors as well. Now, we have to pick up the common factors from 84 and 70. So, 2 is a common factor as we can see. It is present in both the numbers. Similarly, we have a 7. So, here our HCF is going to be 7 times 2 which is 14. So, we got the greatest number that divides 85 and 72 leaving the remainders 1 and 2. So, if you want to verify your answers are correct or wrong, you can just take 85 and divide it by 14. So, let me do that. So, here 14, 6 times gives us 84. So, we can see we get a remainder of 1. So, 14 is the highest number which divides 85, giving a remainder of 1. Similarly, 14, 5 times gives us 70, giving us a remainder of 2, as it was given in the question. So, we have verified that highest common factor, which divides 85 and 72, leaving a remainder of 1 and 2 is 14. Let us move on to the 25th question. Now, the 25th question is from the probability chapter. A bag contains 4 red, 3 blue and 2 yellow balls. One ball is drawn at random from the bag. Find the probability that the drawn ball is red and yellow. So, let us write down the total number of given balls first. So, total number of balls in the bag is 4 plus 3 plus 2 that is going to give us a total of 9 balls. And we have a formula to write down the probability of an event happening. It is given as number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. Now, in this case, the total number of outcomes is going to be total number of balls in the bag, that is 9. And for the first one, the number of favorable outcomes is the probability of getting a red ball out of total 9. And the number of given red balls is 4. So, here probability of getting a red ball is going to be 4 out of total 9 outcomes. Now, for the second one, we are going to solve it in the similar way. That is, probability of finding a yellow ball. So, here we have the probability as 2 out of 9. So, these are the two answers for this given question. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.